Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Mariana and in today's video I want to show you my favorite products of the year 2021. I want to talk about my recommendations and these are products that I keep using over and over again. You're going to be able to see everything from fashion, beauty, hair care, skin care and everything in between. Hopefully you can get some inspiration out of this video and use this video as a gift guide because Christmas is just around the corner and before that we have big sale events like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, so I want you to be prepared and avoid last minute shopping at all costs, you know? But before we start, I would like to say that if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. All right, so I want to start talking about a category that we all love, and you're probably here in this channel because of it. And I am talking about fashion. I want to start showing you an accessory that ever since I got it, I have been wearing it like nonstop. Every time I have the chance to leave the house, I reach for this. And every time that it is sunny, I am talking about my Celine sunglasses. And I actually showed you these sunglasses in one of my vlogs. I gave you kind of an unboxing experience with these sunglasses and I am going to leave that video somewhere in the screen. If you want more details about the sunglasses, just go and check that video out. All right, so these are the sunglasses that I am talking about. They are from Celine and I just love Celine as a brand for accessories. I think that they have beautiful belts and beautiful sunglasses. So in this case, we have these timeless, classic, elegant sunglasses and I just love them very much. And something that I really appreciate is the fact that even though these sunglasses are designer, you don't see big flashy logos and that's something that I really like. The only thing that they have is their name on the side. They have the three iconic dots on each side, but that's it. And once you put them on, you can see that they're really versatile. You can wear them in a really casual way or you can dress them up, you know, with heels and all that. And it works for both situations. So guys, I have been wearing them like nonstop. I have been loving them very much and I think that this is the perfect kit for yourself to treat yourself or if you know someone that loves sunglasses, just give them something like this and they are going to love it. In my case, my mom is one of those, those people that love sunglasses very much to the point that she's obsessed with them and she has a lot of them. And this is probably what I will be giving to her. Like, so mom, if you're watching this, please skip it ignore this part but yeah she loves sunglasses very much and this is my go-to present for her all right so for the next item in my list of favorites i have a beautiful handbag that ever since i received it i have been wearing it all of the time and there is actually proof for that just go and check my instagram account you'll find the bag there you can check my youtube styling videos and you are going to be able to see that i have tried to pair this beautiful handbag with multiple outfits so that goes to show that this handbag is really versatile which is amazing and the handbag that I'm talking about is my beautiful Teddy Blake bag. I got it in the style Ava and in the color light beige. Remember that all of the items that I'm showing you in this video are going to be linked down below, including the handbag. All right, guys, so I love everything about this handbag, the structure, the size, the gold hardware, minimal branding, which I really appreciate. I love the top handle. I love a good top handle and it actually comes with a strap as well so it's really nice that you have the two options guys i have great news for you teddy blake is actually sponsoring this portion of the video and they came to me with great news for you guys they are actually having up to 75 percent off right now as a discount so you can save some money in your purchase they are going to be having the black friday sale and the cyber monday as well so you have been, if you have been thinking about getting this beautiful handbag same style same color or a totally different one i think is the moment to do it because you are going to be able to save some money in your purchase so remember to check the description box of this video because you're going to be able to find all of the information and the link to be able to make your purchase i think that this is the perfect gift for yourself if you want to treat yourself or if you want to give this to someone else because the the style of the bag is really elegant it's minimal and it's timeless as well i genuinely love this handbag you have seen me wearing it multiple times and i couldn't recommend it enough all right guys so for the next fashion item i have something that you can wear during this time of the year which is fall winter and spring as well so i am talking about my black 
leather boots from Nine West. I love these boots very much, first of all, because of the style. I love the pointy toe, I find it timeless and elegant. I love the stiletto heel and I love the height of it because it's a little over three inches and I just find this height really comfortable to walk in. You know, these boots too, really comfortable to walk in. I often go to the grocery store wearing these boots. It can be a little bit extra, but that's okay. I go to the mall as well and I do a lot of walking in these boots and you don't get as tired as you would with another type of heel. I love these boots very much because first of all, they are really affordable and they also, they are perfect for people with thin legs. So that's my case and I just love them very much. If you're a person that has like from thin to normal type of calves or legs, these boots are for you and you don't have to worry because they have an elastic on the side as well. They have a zipper on the side to make, to make the process of putting these boots on way easier. And that's it guys. I love these boots very much and I couldn't recommend them enough. Okay guys, so for the last items inside the fashion category, we have belts. And we have the white leather belt from Holland Cooper with the gold buckle. I love this belt very much. Ever since I got it, I have been wearing it with almost everything, especially because I have a lot of neutrals in my wardrobe. So this matches perfectly with the rest of my wardrobe. And the same thing goes for the Isabel Marant brown leather belt. I love this belt very much and I think it is perfect for summer but uh, I think that you can make it work for other seasons as well. So I am a big believer that accessories like belts are like everything about an outfit. It can change the whole appearance of your outfit without having to put too much effort into it. So I okay guys, so moving on, I want to start talking about skincare before I start talking about makeup because I believe that you have to prepare the canvas before you apply the paint. In this case, any type of makeup product. So I am a big believer that skincare can be expensive, but it doesn't have to be. You just have to look for the good ingredients and you are going to be able to find really affordable options out there. So what I have been doing before applying my skincare and then my makeup is use an, um, an exfoliator. I have been using this one from The Ordinary. I just apply two or three drops of this. I leave it on my face for about 10 minutes and that's more than enough. I just rinse it off and after that I get really smooth skin. So I truly recommend it, but make sure that before you use this on your face, you test it out in, I don't know, your arm, for example, because if you have sensitive skin, this can be a little bit rough on you. And after I am done with the exfoliator, I rinse my face and then I apply hyaluronic acid. This is the one that I am using. This one is from The Ordinary. So what I want to do with the hyaluronic acid is apply it while my face is still wet because I want to, let's say, like lock or keep that moisture inside of my skin and I just want to apply this to protect it, to, to lock it, to, to make it be in gel and stay there forever. So I love this product. Again, it is really affordable. Okay, so continuing with skincare, I want to start talking about something that is part of my morning routine. So after I apply the hyaluronic acid, I apply vitamin C. And this is the product that I have been using. This is Naturium Vitamin C Super Serum Plus. That's a pretty long name, but the product is really good. And what I love about this product is the fact that it has more ingredients. So it has the vitamin C, vitamin A, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and salicylic acid as well. And if you know something about skincare or if you're interested about it, you probably already know that these ingredients are just like beautiful. These are the key ingredients for a nice canvas or a nice skin. So I love, 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 love this product. I couldn't recommend it enough. I have been using it for a while and I just love how bright my skin looks right now. And yeah, it's just really nice and I truly, truly recommend it. And now I want to start talking about the nighttime routine. What is part of my nighttime routine and that is retinol. So I have been using retinol for a little over a year now. I have been pretty consistent with it and I have noticed results. Now my skin feels a little bit smoother, it looks nicer, it looks brighter, and I just love it. So the product that I have been using is, again, Naturium Retinol Complex Serum. And I just love this product because if you want to start using retinol and you know how good it is, because to me it's the king of ingredients, and 
this is the product to go for you know you're not going to break the bank this is I would say pretty mild but you're going to be able to see results with this so I actually apply it all over my face my neck I take it all the way down to here because you need to protect this area too and I apply at night on my hands as well here because you know that saying that the neck obviously the face the neck and your hands reveal your real age so i like to take care of all of those things and this is the product that i have been using okay guys so for the last item of skincare i have something that was like a lifesaver once i found out about this product because before i was struggling a lot with ingrown hairs in what people call strawberry skin you know the real name for that is keratosis pilaris but it's basically like little bumps on your skin that often appear on, on areas where you're shaving, for example, your legs, your arms, your back. I mean, it's different for every person, but in my case, I was getting some of them in my legs. So I found this product and I was, I mean, I just had to give it a try. And when I did, I was really glad that I did because this was the solution for everything. So this is the first aid beauty. Bumper Racer Body Scrub. I got this one at Sephora and basically what it is is like an exfoliator with an active ingredient in it. So I love this. I apply this in the shower. I do this and then I, I just let it sit for around 5 minutes, 10 minutes and then I am done. I actually need to get a new one because I only have like this much of this product. So if you're suffering from ingrown hairs, little bumps in your skin, which is totally normal, go and try this product. I will link this in the description box of this video as well. Okay guys, so I want to start talking about makeup, the fun part, because we all love makeup. So I want to share with you what has been working for my base, you know, my skin. And I have been using this Merit Stick. It's not a foundation, concealer, it's something in between, and it works for both of the things. So I am currently using the shade Sand, which is a little bit deeper, and this in the shade Silk. So I am mixing both of them right now because I am a little pale, you know, I'm losing my tan. So these two shades work perfectly for me. And I'm actually running out of this one. I actually have to replace it. I love this product very much because once you apply it, it makes your skin feel like, not cakey at all, it feels like your skin, but better. Like, it's, it's like a perfecting thing and I just love it very much. I have been using this every single day and I just love it. Okay, so for concealer, I have been using the Merit Beauty Foundation Slash Concealer, but I had to include my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer as well because it's one of my long time favorite concealers that are out there. So I have been using the shade Light 2.3 and this shade is perfect because it matches my skin tone so I am able to conceal all of the darkness that I have under my eyes and I also use the lightest shade that they have available in this concealer. I love that shade as well. I just apply it in some key points of my under eyes to make everything brighter. So I couldn't recommend this concealer enough because it is super natural. It doesn't make you it doesn't make your skin feel cakey or heavy your under eye feels nice and I just I just love this thing. Okay, so after I apply the base for my skin and the concealer and everything, I like to set everything with powder. So I have been using the translucent powder, setting powder from Laura Mercier. I love this powder very, very much. I love how fine it is. I love the fact that it's translucent. It doesn't add any color and it doesn't feel heavy at all. So I have tried other setting powders. They are good but I always come back to this one. So I couldn't recommend it. This has been a long time favorite for, I would say like, what, a few years now? So I really recommend this powder. I often get it in the mini size because I like to be able to keep it in my purse. And yeah, it is lovely. I use the shade Translucent. Okay guys, so now I want to start talking about mascaras. So what I look for in a mascara is something that will give me enough volume and color and everything, but something that will be easy to remove at night because at night I don't want to be struggling a lot um, by trying to remove all of the eye makeup. And actually seeing like the cotton pad with a bunch of my eyelashes, I find it really sad. So. 
the mascara that has been helping me with that is this one from Mary Beauty. It's lovely, it gives you a new volume, it looks really natural, I use this for the everyday and it is easy to remove at night. And if I want a little bit more of drama, I go for the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I love this one, again, it's a regular version, it's not waterproof, it's easy to remove at night as well and I just love it very, very much. I recommend these two. This one is structured, this one is a little bit more expensive, but I think it's worth it as well. Okay guys, so I want to start talking about lipsticks. I love to wear nude lipsticks and I always go for something that is not too brown, not too pink, something in the middle that can be a little bit versatile with the rest of my makeup or what I have in my closet, you know, because you have to think about everything. So for the longest time, I was trying to look for the perfect formula, the perfect shade and everything, but sometimes these lipsticks will be too glossy, too creamy or too matte, where it will be like too drying on your lips until I came across the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. This lipstick is famous and let me tell you, it's worth the hype that it has because this just became my go-to lipstick for the everyday. And the formula is amazing because even though it says it's a matte lipstick, it is a little bit creamier than other matte lipsticks and it doesn't collect like around your your lips like inside of your lips as often happens with other lipsticks so i just love this very much and yeah so i am running out of this i already got the other one and i will keep using this lipstick for years i will say so i recommend this and just give it a try, you won't regret it. All right guys, so speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, I have to say that this brand just became one of my favorite makeup brands because every product I try from this brand is just amazing. It, it doesn't disappoint. So after getting the um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick, I ended up getting the lip liner. So I went for the Lip Cheat Lip Liner in Pillow Talk. And as you can see, this little lip liner has been well loved because it is tiny now. I use this every day. And I don't know what's up with the formula in this product. It's, it's just perfect, you know? It's not too, not too drying, it's not too creamy where it's going to, to move around. It's just there, it's just perfect. So I just love this because it is really easy to glide on your lips and it's just going to last for the whole day on your lips. I love that. Sometimes I don't even use a lipstick. Sometimes I use this and it's more than enough. And just because I love this product very much, I ended up getting the same product in another color. So I ended up getting the Lip Cheat Lip Liner in the color Iconic Nude. This one is more like a, it has like, it's a nude, but it has the brown colors, the brown tones as well. So sometimes I just wear this and I put the lipstick on top, the pillow top lipstick on top, and it just it just changes the color a bit. It doesn't look that pink, and it's just beautiful. So I truly recommend these two products, these lip products. It, yeah, you're, once you try them, you are going to love them, and you will know what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, so I love my high-end products very much, but sometimes I like to give some love to my drugstore items. So if you're looking for a lip liner that is affordable and it has a good formula, as good as the ones from Charlotte Tilbury, I would recommend this one that I have here. So this one is the Alley Girl Ultimate Lip in the color Keep It Spicy. I was able to find this at Ulta. You can also get it at the grocery store and it's just amazing. I love this because as I mentioned before, it's not too drying, it's not too creamy, it stays on and sometimes I just put it all over my lips and that's it, I just, I just call it a day. All right guys, so now I want to start talking about hair care and I want to share with you the products that have been working for me, especially after going from black hair to blonde and now to the color that I have. So I want to start with my favorite product, like what saved my hair after being damaged from the heat, from the chemicals, from the color and all that. So I want to present to you the little magic in a little bottle. So this is the Olaplex number three. I use this as a, as a repairing treatment before I wash my hair. I do this every week, every time I wash my hair, I use this. 
this was the only thing that was able to recover my hair to save my hair from looking like like straw hair like brittle like like that so i really recommend this and i just love it so now that i'm presenting these items to you i just realized that i have more and more of the same brand so they should sponsor me you know i am just saying i have been giving them my money uh for a long period of time all right so moving on I have been loving this shampoo, the Olaplex number no. 4 Bond Maintenance Shampoo. I love the shampoo and as you can see it is, I am running low, really low, I need to get another one. So I just love this shampoo very much because it helps to maintain the color that you already have. It is, it is gentle and I have noticed a real change with this. My hair looks a little bit shinier with this and it doesn't look dull anymore as for example, years ago that I was using drugstore shampoo that is full of silicones and butt stuff. And once I started using this, I noticed a real change in my hair. Okay guys, so after the shampoo, I obviously use conditioner. So the one that I have been using is the Olaplex number no. five. I love this conditioner because it doesn't feel like it is too heavy on your hair. And it's just nice, it smells nice, it feels nice. And yeah, so I truly recommend this one too. And after the conditioner, I use the Olaplex number no. six while my hair is still wet. This is a bond smoother. This is basically like a styling cream. After I leave the shower while my hair is still wet, I comb my hair and then I style it, you know? So if you're a person that blows out your hair, use this and you are going to notice a real difference. I couldn't recommend this enough and this became one of my favorite products out of this whole line. All right, so last but not least, I have my favorite heat protectant, and this is the Bumble and Bumble Hair Dressers Invisible Oil. So even though this says that it is an oil, it's not. It has the consistency of a serum, something not too liquidy, something not too creamy, it's just something right there in the middle. And I love it because it doesn't make your hair feel like heavy as it often happens with other heat protectants. So I love this very much. I apply it while my hair is still wet and I do it before I curl my hair and I just love it. So I truly recommend it. If you want to give this a try, I promise you that you won't regret it. And it just smells amazing. It will last you for a really long time. This is actually my third or fourth bottle and I will keep buying it because I just love this product a lot. All right guys, so those are my favorite products of the year 2021, my recommendations, the things that have been working for me and things that I truly, truly recommend. Also, don't forget to check the description box of this video where you're going to be able to find the link for the Teddy Blake website where you are going to be able to enjoy all of the amazing discounts that they are having at the moment. Remember that they are having amazing sales for the Black Friday and the Cyber Monday as well. I also want to thank Terry Blake for sponsoring that portion of the video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.